Hello second graders and welcome back to art. I'm so excited that you're here. I have a fun project for us today. We're going to be making a little three-dimensional creature that you can keep in your house and you can enjoy him and he can sit on a shelf. So let me show you how to get started. So I'm going to move you down and let me show you some of the stuff that you're going to need. I have some construction paper here and I picked out a lime green, a dark green, and a purple. I'm going to need a bottle of glue, and I'll need some scissors, and I'm also going to need a paper cup. So the first thing that I'm going to do is, let me move you down here, is before I even get to the cup, I'm just gonna move that off to the side. I'm gonna take my paper and just kind of put it together like this. And I'm going to cut some stripes oh, about the size of a hot dog, maybe a little thicker than that. And I'm going to cut a bunch of them before I even start. Okay, so do you see how I cut some strips? And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put the paper together, okay? And using my scissors, I'm going to create little tiny cut marks like that like little fringes right because this guy's gonna be a little furry and looks like a toothbrush right notice I'm holding all of my strips together that's gonna save some time okay you could do this one at a time but why not put them together and cut them at the same time right Okay. Do not go all the way up to the top. If you go all the way up to the top, you run the risk of cutting this, right? All right. I'm just gonna cut that off to make it even. All right, so now I have my strips ready to go. So I'm gonna take my little cup and my Elmer's glue, and I haven't used this glue in a long time, so hopefully it's gonna come out all right. And I think I'll start with this beautiful lime green. I love this color. And I'm gonna run a little glue across the top. Oops, thread there. Run the glue across the top where I did not cut. Do you see that? And I'm simply going to take it, start at the bottom of your cup or your container, and you just go around. container and I have to just get that started and one little trick is if make sure you glue the paper to the paper that will get this first one on nice and securely and I'm just kind of pressing it and my container is plastic so if it seems a little slippery you can always put a rubber band around this to hold it for a few minutes, but look at that. It's already ready to go. And now I'm going to run a little glue across that, like that. And now I think I'll do, how about the lime green? And this time, bring it around and you want to raise it up a little bit so you see the the color that's underneath. So I'm getting to the other end. So a little bit of glue. I mean, look how quickly this goes. So now I'm gonna put a little, put a little more glue like this. And there, now I have the body of my creature and I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a pen or a pencil and just kinda use it as like a little pair of tweezers here. And I'm just gonna help flick some of this out to make them look nice and fuzzy. Actually, your fingers will do that. 
kind of rough them up a little bit. Ooh, I love that, look at that. Now, we have one thing we gotta work on here and that is the top. Do you see the top here? Okay, so to create the top, I think what I'm gonna do is take some of my pieces that I cut, and I might need to cut some more. That's why I did this ahead of time. So I can just keep working without stopping, but I think I have to cut some more. So there is a strip, and this time I think I'll take my fingers and kind of roll this up like a little tube. Because I want his hair to be spiky on top. And when you do this, just try to make sure that you you're rolling this straight so you have a flat bottom right here. See how I have a flat bottom? Okay. And I'm gonna put, just put a little glue here just to hold that shut. And I'm going to now put a little glue on top of the container and just stick that on. Oops. Actually, before I stick it, I'm gonna kinda fluff it out, plop it on. Okay, so boys and girls, you can see I created all the little purple fuzz on top of his head. I think he looks great. And I think what I might do is just fluff him up a little bit. So I'm gonna use some white and some black for this because I think the white and black is gonna look really graphic, really sharp against that color. So I'm gonna create a couple strips like this here. And I think I'll start oops, with his little legs. So I'm gonna make some black and white striped legs, but you can make your legs look however you want them to look. And I want him to be sitting on the top of my table and I want his legs to hang down. So I wanna make sure I make his legs long enough to do that. So let me move you down. So there are his little legs and I'm gonna cut Now, if I bring my little guy back and I put a little glue on each leg, and now I'll put a little glue here and a little glue here. He doesn't have to have arms if you don't want him to, but I think that'll make it look a little bit better. So there's a little arm. way. Oops. I should glue that arm like that, right? See his little arm sitting there? And what's fun is, let me move my chair out of the way, because he's going to be able to sit on the tabletop. Do you see his little legs hanging off? So he needs a great pair of shoes, right? So, uh, oh, he even sits. You know what? Let me get a piece of paper. And I'll put it down so that way you can see him better. Do you see him sitting there? And I think my little guy is going to have, how about a pair of the green shoes? I think they're gonna look good. And notice what I'm doing. I'm folding the paper so when I cut them out, his little boots, really cutting out two at the same time to save a little bit of work. And that way they're identical. Do you see how I did that? So this guy is gonna have a nice little pair of green boots to wear. See, oh, his leg came off, oh my goodness. There we go. See his little shoes? And let's see, I think I'll make his hands the dark green.
Alright, he's looking pretty good, and the only thing he needs left, I think, is one big eyeball in the middle of his head. Just kind of moving around a little bit. But there, do you see his little eyeball? Pretty cool, right? And now he can sit on the surface of my table. So, boys and girls, give it a try. See if you can take an old cup or an old container and do what I did and create a little character that can sit on your shelf. I'd love to see it. If you finish him, you can post a picture of it for me in Seesaw, and that way I can take a look. So have fun creating, have fun exploring, and I will see you next week, boys and girls. Have a great day.